Hey guys and welcome back to Hoosier Hardware and today I want to address a Wired article from very recently here. Uh, I think it was posted at the end of May 2024 and this article was about the best USB microphones out right now and I identified as the best overall mic, USB mic to be fair, that you could get was the Blue Yeti. And that was probably true at one point. I mean, the Blue Yeti does offer a lot. It has latency-free monitoring with a headphone jack. You can actually run your audio from your PC straight through that. Uh, it has different pickup patterns, and it does have a gain knob on the back. It has a dedicated mute button, has a volume uh, knob on board. So it does have a lot of features going for it. But this is definitely not the best USB microphone out there. It's definitely not the best overall. And there may be a niche here and there where the Yeti does make a lot of sense. Like if you do, maybe sometimes you're working by yourself. So you want that cardioid pickup pattern. And other times you need a pickup pattern that picks up something across from you, like for an interview or something like that. Sometimes it does make sense. But it has a lot of drawbacks too. For instance, it's pretty prone to pops from plosives. It's also got a ton of handling noise, just lightly tapping out, lots of handling noise. And most importantly of all, the actual audio quality is nowhere near the best that you can get with a USB mic for right now, this thing, this exact model, the black one is going for like $95 on Amazon. So there's better options out there. And I wanna highlight a couple of different options that you could go with uh, instead of paying $95 for a microphone that is definitely past its uh, prime and you can save a lot of money or spend the same amount of money and get a lot better audio quality. Now, that being said, I'm gonna be using to uh, sort of go up against the Yeti, which is a condenser mic. I wanna use dynamic mics because it's my belief that for the vast majority of people out there that are doing audio in untreated spaces, the dynamic microphones are gonna cut out some of that reverb from around the room a little bit better. Probably it's the best way to go for most people. So to illustrate that, I have a Fifine 669D here. This is a little dynamic microphone and it does come with an XLR cable, but I am trying to save some money here. So we're going to be running this mic straight into uh, the mic in port on a PC. So you are going to need an extra cable. It's an XLR to three and a half millimeter cable. This is not a setup I recommend, by the way. This is just to illustrate that this thing costs something like 35-ish dollars normally on Amazon. The cable's gonna run you about another $10. So this is gonna be literally half the price of the Yeti. And let's go ahead and swap these out and compare the audio quality. And now we're on the Fifine 669D running straight into the mic in port on my motherboard. And there's a couple of different audio qualities you should notice. First off, there's less reverb from around the room, but possibly because I'm running a plus 25 dB gain in OBS, there's probably a little bit more of a background hiss uh, than there was on the Blue Yeti. Again, this is not the recommended use for a 669D. You really should pair it with an audio interface, which incidentally, you can get about 40 or $50 audio interfaces that you can then plug into uh, your PC using USB, and you'd be in good shape there. You'd get better audio quality from the 669D for about the same price as the Blue Yeti. But if you're running a laptop setup where you need a mic that you can actually take with you relatively easily, I have another setup that would spend basically the same amount as the Blue Yeti, and you're gonna see a huge jump. So let's swap back to the Blue Yeti for just a moment while I introduce the uh, next mic. So this is the Fifine Tank 3, which although a recent release has been on sale a lot for around the $90 price. Now, it does not come with this stand, so you're gonna actually end up spending a little bit more on this entire setup if you need a, a stand to go with it, but maybe you have a boom arm or something laying around, in which case you could save that money. But the Tank 3 goes for a very similar price generally as the Blue Yeti. So let's go ahead and plug this thing into USB and get it set up 
so you can see the difference. And now here we are on the Fifine Tank 3, and you should immediately notice this is the best audio quality. Now, the Fifine Tank 3 is not perfect. It does still have a fair bit of handling noise, but as a dynamic mic, it's gonna cut out more of that room reverb from untreated spaces. It's gonna just sound much better than the Blue Yeti's fairly cheap condenser capsules out there. Uh, it still has that mute button on board. It still has onboard gain. It still has onboard uh, audio volume. You can still run your audio from your PC through it. And it also has an XLR port on the back of it. So if you ever upgrade your audio setup to a, an interface that you're going to be using XLR with, this mic is good to go and ready to go for you. Now, Fifine has some others, and so do other companies, by the way. This isn't just a Fifine showcase, but Fifine has other microphones that are even cheaper that get you the same basic features in a very similar audio quality. Uh, in fact, you can barely see it over my shoulder here with the little red windscreen over there. That's the Fifine K688, which is an excellent dynamic microphone, very similar audio qualities to the Tank 3, very similar feature set with USB, XLR, all the onboard audio stuff that you can all get and that's going to be significantly cheaper than the Tank 3. And then the AM8 is sort of the go-to one. Uh, I don't have an AM8, but again, dynamic microphone, it's going to get you better audio quality, you still get USB, you still get all those onboard features that you would have with the Blue Yeti. The literal only thing you're really giving up going from a Blue Yeti to one of these dynamic USB mics from either Fifine or several other companies make them as well. The only thing you're really giving up is the change in pickup patterns that Yeti gives you that you don't necessarily get with these dynamic mics. So for the vast majority of people out there, the best USB mics are going to likely be dynamic mics that you can get close and you're going to get a better reverb rejection, better environmental rejection. Now, if you have a highly treated space, then yeah, maybe a condenser mic makes a lot of sense to you, and maybe something with different pickup patterns, depending on your use case, makes a lot of sense to you. But otherwise, don't go with the wired suggestion of just picking up a Blue Yeti. You're probably gonna be a little bit disappointed compared to what other audio solutions are out there for either as cheap or even significantly less. So I will go ahead and link several dynamic mic options down below to consider outside of the Blue Yeti. I'll also go ahead and link the Blue Yeti because maybe there's a steep deal and it makes a lot of sense for you or you just want the Blue Yeti look. Anyways, I am curious what all of you are running for your basic mics at home. Let me know in those comments down below. Otherwise, like, subscribe, and I'll see you all in the next video.